what's up guys wolfpack here and today i'm back with another video and we're on naruto blazing and we're gonna take a look at the update now i know you've all been waiting for my quality video to roll out so we're finally here and then let's let's just get into the patch notes we got some cool stuff that i can't read so we're gonna go to the other one so we can look at the pictures and kind of understand what's going on <laughs> all right so we got a new banner coming up um we yeah uh, it's just a uh uh, featuring banner with some units all right that's cool and we got Indra now I must say you guys I'm pretty fucking happy I summon on the summon uh, I summon on the, the the staff pick banner like the blazing bash one I think I summon on it like two days ago maybe but I'm pretty fucking happy that I summon on that banner and not saved up for this blazing fest. Because this blazing fest is fucking wet. Let's take a look at the this so yeah. Okay, don't mind this, it's all fucked up, but um we got one percent for um Utsukata, one till wait. One till Naruto, Utsukata and Nagato. And 0.33 for Indra. And it's just a whack summon bro, it's so bad. <laughs> it's so fucking bad. I, th I think that it, I think he, Indra himself is not even good. The, well, he, I think he is decent, I'm not sure. Where can we check that out? Like right here, right? So I'm not gonna summon on this bro, I'm gonna keep my pearls. Oh, I think it's nullifies Jutsu Seal and nullify. oh no, 60% chance to not get um switch shield and i think this is nullifies um jutsu's you entirely we got a 30 percent to keep his first jutsu we got a 10 percent to get a chakra when he hits or gets hit and we got a nullifies damage and 30 percent damage reduction all right so the last two are not that bad but they're the last two so that's gonna take a while before you get that field skill 70 to 90 percent chance to um counter attack back so counter yeah pretty bad and pretty meh. and body skill reduces the chance of being switched shield by 30 percent fucking trash <laughs> okay we he has three six chakra so this is i don't know I'll, I don't really think it's that needed, honestly. Like, his first jutsu is 3.8 attack in body damage to all enemies in range. 40% chance of immobilization for two turns, ignoring any damage reduction effects. Okay, decent. And his ultimate uh, 11.4 times attack in body damage, all in range, ignores damage, blah blah blah. And give 70% of immobile immobilization resistance. I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's, I don't, in my opinion, he's not that great. I mean, he's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was right. So the first one is nullifies Jutsu Seeing. Now that's pretty good. But the rest is just kind of... <laughs> kind of bad. <laughs> So uh, yeah, <laughs> welcome to Blazing Fest, everyone. It's fucking great. The summon rates are very quality. Oh, bro, I feel so sad for the people who saved up for this. Like, it's such a letdown, man. It's really bad. And um, yeah, so that's basically the Blazing Fest. It's pretty fucking bad. So I'm f so happy I summoned on the. Um, staff pick banner on my global account so yeah and uh, there's also a new uh what, what what do you call those super impact right for ashura now he is actually pretty fucking good for a free unit so he's like i'm not even joking you he's better than the blazing fest like no joke <laughs> like he's actually pretty solid because when he's max uh, limit broken, he has 2,500 HP and 1,732 attack. And that's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. Now, here is uh, Ashura. So, he, this is his Blazing Bash version. I, could, I don't know how this works. I couldn't find, like, the normal version. 
but I'll um, start with the Blazing Bash version. Now, I don't think the Blazing Bash version is that great. You're Like, this man is really good in PvE, but in PvP, I'm not so sure. So, um, yeah, as you guys can see, uh, reduce his chakra by one, so he is a five chakra. And he has these two that I don't think is that great. But like nobody really see you uh, re like recovery seals you in PvP, so I don't really think this is that great for him. Now he does have a um, 500 self, yeah, 500 self healing. And the reason why he has reco um, recovery ceiling resistance is because he heals with his first jutsu. Let me just swap it. So he heals 12,500 HP and restores 2 chakra with his first jutsu. And it's a 5.5 attack in hard damage. So two against all enemies in range. So that's pretty good, all enemies in range. So let's see how big that actually is. Okay, yo, that's that's pretty good. That's a pretty nice size. Okay, so his ultimate does 13 times attack towards all enemies in range, 80% of attack reduction for 8 turns and nullifies type disadvantages. So that's pretty good, but you're not really gonna get the ultimate for this man in PvP, so it's kind of yeah, not really anything good. So his stats are 54,000 HP, so that's a lot, but he is pretty slow, 262 speed. So yeah, I don't really like this man on PvP. His body skill, 22-25 body reduce damage and boost crit by 2.25. So again, he's not really that great in PvP. But his PvE version is really good, so I can't. I don't know how I get them, how I get it, like, no clue where I can find his PvE version. But I'll just uh, tell you guys the, um, the stuff his PvE version has. So his PvE version has the same body skill, so 20 to 25% reduced damage reduction and crit rate for his body skill. And his Jutsu is uh, 6 Chakra, 4.7 attack in hard damage towards all enemies in range, 70% chance of attack reduction for 5 turns and knocks them back. And his ultimate is 12 times attack towards, har um, towards all enemies in range, 80% chance of attack reduction for 8 turns, nullify type disadvantage and knocks them back. So that's pretty good. Now his abilities are really fucking nice. So he has a 20% chance to erase chakra consumption, so basically just 20% chance to keep your jutsu. A 400 self healing and a 50% body damage reduction, so that's pretty nice. And he also has his fuel skill, so he, has, he can tank up to 20, uh, 75 damage, pretty good. And um, yeah, uh, his sync skills aren't that great. Sync with hard boost attack by 75 and sync with short range restore 50 HP every turn. So his PvE version is actually pretty fucking good. And his PvP is not that great. So I'll just get him for uh, your PvE instead of PvP team. So, And we also got Obito back. But I don't know why they brought him back. Like... I don't know why they could have brought Killer B back or like a older one, uh, Killer B or Kirin Sasuke. I don't get why they brought Obito back, but you know I'll take it. I need to clear out the mission a bit, so we'll see if that works. And also uh, a new uh, April Fools. There's gonna be a new uh, unit for April Fools. It's gonna be Mecha Naruto. Now, the way I know this is because I'm really smart, because it says a, he has 13-4-1 HP and 13-4-1 attack. And he has like literally everywhere 4-1 in, in it, so that basically means the 1st of April, so. Yeah, I'm really smart, like nobody else figured it out, no. And um, yeah, that was basically it for this whole update. Now on global, there's not really anything new, only Phantom Castle. So 
Uh, yeah, and next week will be the... Um, is the... No, no Kage League yet. Alright, so uh, yeah, that was everything for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Checking me... Uh, checking it out with me. Yes, that's the right words. And uh, yeah, so this uh, summon is kind of trash. But the, the unit we got on the... Uh, the mission is actually pretty decent so um, I'll take it I'll take it and um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to hit that like button subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys